Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and our guest this evening, we have with us uh, Dr. Maysa Mahmoud Kamkar, and Dr. Maysa is the Research Operations Manager at Desman Diabetes Institute. Dr. Maysa, welcome to our program, Hala Kuwait. Thank you, Tariq. Thank you for inviting me. Nice to have you with us uh, right here in the studio, and maybe you could start out by uh, telling our audience a little bit about the research that is taking place at uh, Desman Diabetes Institute, please. Uh, Desman Diabetes Institute is a research institute which was uh, developed under the support of uh, Kuwait uh, KFAS, Kuwait yeah, the Foundation, Kuwait Foundation for, for the Scientific. Advancement of Sciences. And then uh, under the in line with the strategy of our new Director General, Dr. Qais Lidwairi, and our CSO, Professor Yako, we developed a couple of research domains that include biomedical research public health research and clinical trial research. Now under biomedical research uh, domain, we have genetics, uh, biochemistry, molecular biology, genomics, informatics, and epidemiology. Okay, so maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about the uh, purpose of the different research projects that are uh, ongoing and taking place at the Institute, please. Uh, as the name implies, the Sman Diabetes Institute is a research institute focused to cover all the aspects uh, relevant to diabetes. So we are mostly concerned with covering the areas of type 1 diabetes, type 2 gestational, and diabetes complications. Okay, and uh, tell us now, uh, how is the research uh, going? How is it uh, proceeding? You're the operations manager at the institute, so uh, tell us about that process, please. Uh, for audience who may not be aware, I mean, how is the process going till you like are in a journal and so forth or a periodical? What's the process like? So basically with research, there is a uh, research life cycle. It starts from developing hypotheses where the ideas of a research project develop through uh, implementation of different methodologies, uh, then expected results, uh, retrieving results, data analysis, and reaching conclusions and discussions. So with research life cycle, uh, research operations basically goes around the project management of the different approved ongoing projects at the Sman Diabetes Institute. It also goes hand to hand with the ethical, so ethical review committee. And then we have also other facilities like the document management, data management, and core facilities. So do you have any international collaboration at the Institute? Uh, is there anything like that going on in terms of research? Uh, currently we have three international collaborations. We have with Harvard University, Stony Brooks, and we have the Jocelyn. Uh, I believe... Uh, Can you tell us a little bit about what's the research going on with those uh, three renowned uh, institutes and universities? Basically, they are focused at the immunology units mm -hmm. and they are working on type 1 diabetes. So, so far I believe they are at the third phase of the projects uh, to be finalized within 2017 or 18 mostly. And then uh, with Harvard we have other uh, collaborative approaches that uh, might include also uh, zebrafish core facility development and also uh, maybe training uh, for a couple of our staff within their facility. Great to hear and uh, tell us now uh, Dr. Mesa why is diabetes so prevalent in the state of Kuwait? I mean it's uh, at such a high rate we're always uh, the top one, two, three in the world. What's going on? Uh, honestly being a reference center for diabetes uh -huh. the first our first mission evolve around uh, detecting the prevalence of diabetes among the Kuwaiti population. And when I say that, we mean going through ethnicities, different age groups, and genders. And I believe that this is the first strategic initiative by our new CSO, and uh, under the guidance of our Director General, Dr. Qais, to estimate the prevalence of Kuwaiti population. So let's say within the beginning of next year, We'll have a true data from the Sman Diabetes uh, Institute with respect to this regard. But why is it so prevalent? Because uh, people are, are always asking, inquiring. I mean, the numbers are, I think, uh, 22, 23 percent of the population or so. Why is that? I would say that with diabetes, if you talk about type 1, it's basically genetics because mm -hmm. it's an autoimmune disease. With type 2, genetics play a role, but also environmental factor and obesity. 
So if we talk about type 2, I would believe because we have high prevalence of obesity among the population, therefore it affects the increased pattern of type 2. As for type 1, mostly because it's an autoimmune, so I would say it goes to our genes. Okay, so um, hopefully the research uh, projects which are ongoing will uh, be announced to the public and uh, I know there's some that have already been announced, correct? Yes. Actually, uh, we are expecting uh, to have 13 publications mm -hmm. out uh, cons uh, considered to be a productivity for the approved ongoing project. So on a monthly basis, we are announcing the pu published uh, articles we have in this month. And I believe that everyone will actually have a clue about those papers and will track our, the progress of our projects uh, within DDI. And if the public want to find out more, they could, I think, uh, go to the website, the Instagram, correct? Yes. Uh, soon we'll present our research activities. Uh, we'll have our research calendar presented on the website uh, to track all the activities. Okay, and there's also the Instagram where we, uh, there's a lot of, uh, I believe, photos, images, uh, details also when in regards to research, but mostly on the website where they could find out all the information they need. And I believe, as you said earlier, Dr. Mesa, uh, Desman Diabetes Institute is a reference center for diabetes in the GCC, correct? Yes. So that's uh, very, go ahead. Uh, so actually, uh, being a reference center give, give us more responsibility to, show, to share the accurate data with respect to prevalence, incidence, and any re uh, research uh, relevant areas. Well, great to hear. And uh, I know just a few days ago, uh, the research uh, laboratory recently offered a unique opportunity for a number of interns to get hands-on experience. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, this is the first year where we started the summer research internship program. Uh, we enrolled uh, eight medical students, from uh, seven from the Royal College of Ireland and one from Kuwait University Faculty of Medicine. The purpose of the program is to train the students on hands-on research. So what is research, how to develop a research project, how to implement a research idea, all th uh, through the results, data interpretation and conclusions. And how long did they spend at the institute? They, the program started from June till August, uh -huh. so most of the students spent two months mm -hmm. in different uh, research labs, including genetics, immunology and biochemistry. Um, all students had supervisors from our expertise scientists, research scientists in the institute, and they finalized the program by presenting the data, which they actually worked on themselves uh, in a poster, and we celebrated that in our poster day. Yeah, I recently, I think I read in the newspaper a few days ago, it was uh, well covered and looked like the interns had a very nice time and. Uh, they gained a lot of experience from the Institute. Uh, exactly. After all, all the interns uh, actually will be uh, acknowledged by having recommendation letters and certificates beside celebrating the uh, poster day. Well, great. Uh, congratulations to them and Thank congratulations you. to the Institute also for uh, helping you. out and assisting with the interns and uh, get letting them get some valuable uh, hands-on experience. and. Uh, you personally, as a researcher, Dr. Mesa, how do you foresee the future of research at the Institute and uh, are there any promises, because uh, people are always asking to find new treatments for diabetes. That's a question also the public is always asking. I would say that uh, having high prevalence, as you actually mentioned, in Kuwait, uh, of diabetes in Kuwait, uh, as well as in GCC com country and being a reference center, that actually put us or give us a high responsibility in trying to accomplish some of the achievements at the level of the science of diabetes worldwide. To start with, I would say that monitoring a disease and helping in the diagnosis, identifying biomarkers that could be used in a future treatment, that could be one of our targets or future targets at the Man Diabetes Institute. Okay, so uh, any treatments that are uh, on the horizon or so forth that you could shed with uh, some light on with our audience watching right now? Uh, I wouldn't say treatment because uh, for developing a treatment that would take longer years to do so, but for as monitoring uh, system, managing diseases, yes, we would have some recommendations based on the results we found from our different uh, validated studies. But with treatment-wise, I would say we need, this will be on the long term maybe milestone. 
Okay, we we'll look forward to more great things and achievements from Desman Diabetes Institute. And how can the public now uh, reach out and uh, find out more? And are you open to collaboration with other institutes, universities in the area and so forth also? Uh, of course. Uh, I think soon we're going to uh, launch our uh, research uh, website uh, on DDI website, which is www.desmondiabetesinstitute.org. They can uh, find out different research domains, which can open more doors of collaboration. Okay, we look forward to that in the near future. And as we're coming to the end of our interview this evening, Dr. Mesa, do you have any last comments or words for the audience watching Hela Kuwait tonight? Well, I would like to thank everyone who was watching us, and I wish everyone benefited from the information we shared through this lovely program. Well, it's a pleasure to have you with us uh, this evening right here on Hala Kuwait, and we wish you and all your colleagues all the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Tarek. Thank you so much for joining us. We were speaking to Dr. Mesa Mahmoud uh, Kamkar. Dr. Mesa is the Research Operations Manager at Desman Diabetes Institute, wishing her and her colleagues all the best of luck in their future endeavors.